All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation x is equal to x over 3. So the variable I want to find the value of is x. So for my solution, again, my equation is x equals x over 3. And what I'm first going to do is subtract x over 3 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get x minus x over 3 is equal to 0. So now from here, what I'm going to do is multiply both sides by 3, because we want to get rid of this division of 3. So the only way to do that is to multiply both sides by 3. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 3. So now I have 3 times x minus x over 3 is equal to 0 times 3. Now I have to actually distribute the 3 and multiply it with all my terms in my parentheses. So 3 times x is 3x. And 3 times negative x over 3, well, this 3 and this 3 cancel out. So all I'm left with is negative x. And 0 times 3 is 0. Now from here, 3x minus x is 2x. So I get 2x is equal to 0. And now if I divide both sides by 2, these two cancel out. And I get x is equal to 0 divided by 2, which is 0. Now, before you leave, I actually have a second method to solve this, which is faster than the first method and more efficient. So again, my equation is x equals x over 3. And this time, instead of subtracting x over 3 on both sides, I'm actually just going to start with multiplying 3 on both sides. So then these two automatically cancel out, and I get 3x is equal to x. So now the mistake that most people make here is that they divide both sides by x. And when you do this, you just get that 3 is equal to 1, which is a false statement. What you have to do is subtract x on both sides. So now you get 2x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 0. So those are two methods of solving this equation.